Remember when fairy tales ended with a monogamous couple consummating their marriage with a wedding kiss as we watched for the bride to lift up her foot, signaling they would live happily ever after? Well, the Supreme Court just murdered that tradition. Its dark prince majority threw daggers through the heart of millennium-honored institutions, mocking its sacred origins in order to join together men with men and women with women. Leading up to this decision, lower courts levied draconian fines at business owners who dared to cling to their so-called outdated traditional values. One such judge recommended a $135,000 fine against family business bakers Aaron and Melissa Klein of Sweet Cakes by Melissa in Gresham, Oregon for refusing to inscribe a pro-same-sex marriage slogan on the top of a wedding cake. So let me ask you a question. Regardless of whether you consider yourself to be a conservative, moderate, libertarian, or liberal, do you really think it's right or fair for a small family business to get nailed with an eighth of a million dollar fine just for exercising their First Amendment rights? Remember when activists put on their nice face, portraying same-sex marriage as being so sugary sweet? Who on earth would want to be such an intolerant hater as to deny true love to be extended to same-sex couples? But today, we are seeing who are the true intolerant haters, those who refuse to allow others to hold to their traditional values, and even going so far as to ruin their lives for simply exercising their First Amendment rights. Baker Melissa Klein gave her 17-word unassailable defense as, Being a baker, the cake is our canvas, and we get to put our artwork on it. But the judge didn't see it that way. But rather than capitulate to the tyranny of the truly intolerant, Aaron and Melissa Klein closed their shop as a matter of conscience. Regardless how morals factor into this topic, let's look at this from a practical matter. What kind of impact will this sort of newfangled cultural renaissance have on our economy? Ask yourself, will this boost the economy, shutting down traditionalists? And will it boost or lose jobs? Lest we forget, it was small businesses like bakeries that helped build the United States into the largest economy in world history. But God is not mocked. If aberrant lifestyles are continually foisted upon our national backbone that once made America stand tall, we will soon become decrepit, hunched over, and die a much-deserved death as a nation. So here's the challenge for we the people to stand up against homosexual tyranny. It's not free speech. It's not love. It's not tolerance. It's homosexual tyranny. And no matter what the Supreme Court calls it, it's not marriage. Congress now must muster the courage to impeach those Supreme Court justices, just as Associate Justice Samuel Chase was impeached in 1805. Please forward a link to this video to anyone you know who still has a backbone. Thank you.